and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is your boy James, a.k.a. Hollywood J. Black, live in the building once again, back with another Sinful Black Reacts, and I got my mans, my main mans, Big MF and sit us in the building, how you doing it today, sir? I'm doing good, doing good, doing good, um, we is back in the building once again. And we got one of the homies in the building once again. We got that motherfucking young Merc in the building, baby. Oh, as usual. He's uh he's been working on some things. Some things and stuff. Last time we saw him, he was hanging out with his uh, young counterpart self, uh in the one music video that we that we had on, on him, which was a really, really great music video. Uh go ahead and check that out if you are if you if if you're if you're out of the loop, I just say. But for those who are in the loop and they know what the dealio is, you know that Burke has been. Give me the loop. Me. Give me the loop. So, uh, so he dropped a he dropped another he dropped a song called "Give Me a Sign," and uh, he's out looking. As we can tell by the visual, he's overlooking a uh, a balcony of sorts onto a lake. So he's pondering. He's probably thoughts. looking outside. He's probably looking outside of his crib in Canada, just pondering that's a, life. That's a nice crib without the nice lake view and shit like that. I want a crib that nice. I mean, no, not really. I don't want to live by a lake because something, something, global flooding and shit like that. So And something, something, crocodiles and alligators. And... <laughs> well, yeah. You live in Florida, Florida, sir. Yeah, that's true. You live in Florida. Okay, maybe I would like a, maybe I would like a house mm. by the lake in Canada. How's that? How's that sounds fair. <laughs> yeah. Something. Then something you could do cool. what fat people don't. Then you could do what fat people don't do, and that's ice skate. <laughs> unfair. Unfair. All right. So let's get this thing cracking. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Oh, without further ado, this is Mercules. Give give us a sign. Mercules, give us a sign. No, no, give me a sign right here on Simple Black Reacts. Yeah. He's go. gonna, you know, what he's gonna, you know, what he's gonna do. He's gonna be like, "Here's your sign, bitch." <laughs> Here's your fucking sign, you asshole. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Through the trials and tribulations, here we are, back where we started once again. Lance on the beat, baby. Grew up with the most wanted killers and known robbers. Invented the blueprint, but they're paying me no homage. If you're not keeping them warm, they'll claim that you're cold hearted. My bro is in a pen, I'm in line at the post office. Sometimes it feels like I'm loyal, but to a fault. Considering everyone but myself, and that's gotta stop. It took me 15 years to get on the top, now I'm here, and it's fucking weird, cause I still feel like I'm lost. I'm trying to learn to love myself that I don't need a reason A slight obsession, a definition of people please Like if they wrote a book on my life, would I even read it? Or be too busy helping other people feed the demons? I tried the liquor, tried the weed, I even tried the pills What's my problem? Do I harbor survivor's guilt? The Travis died, his open casket has me crying still I'm trying not to think about it when I'm by myself I'm just trying not to break Maybe there's too much on my plate, you can see it on my face there's only so much I can take Finding no ways to numb the pain Lord, give me a sign Cause I'm just trying not to break Maybe there's too much on my plate You can see it on my face There's only so much I can take Finding no ways to numb the pain Lord, give me a sign mm. Now Oh, man Dude Alright, so I think we're, we're about a, We're about a year Oh, a little bit over a year removed. Um, from the death of the one uh, battle rapper. Yes. Which was like one of his great friends, basically his inspiration, man. And it's like, it's it's safe to say that Mercules has probably had one of the most trying years. Uh, in hip hop, uh, well, in his career, right? I think that's probably like safe to say. Uh, if if you factor in, we've had this high of he signed uh, 
He signed with Death Row at, the, at, at 23, right? And then mm-hmm. we had Pat Stay. He passed. His buddy Traff passed. You know what I'm saying? And so, like... But he's also probably had... I don't think he's had any greater success from a professional thing since for the last two years, right? Because 22, remember we came on, we came watching him in, in like 21, 22, and we watched him, his presence. Yeah, towards the end of, it was towards the end of, tw- it was towards the end of 20. Yeah. Then we started going hardcore during 21 because that's when he was doing the shit with Bone, Twister, and all the, and all the OGs and shit. Yeah, he started shaking up the fucking thing. And it's crazy because I watched this thing regarding, uh, I watched a documentary on YouTube talking about uh, YouTube rappers, as they say, right? Where they, where guys like Gone and one of one of our personal favorites, uh, Crips, they discuss what happened in their, their careers and such. Personal favorites, I mean. Remember, he still remember he still hasn't listened to Eminem. No, still hasn't listened to Eminem. Still hasn't listened to any Eminem at all. Anyways, <laughs> but I came. And, you, and you know what? That's like me saying I don't buy Funko Pops. <laughs> I don't know what and why. Like I don't know what Funko Pops are. Said we we have. I don't even know what a Funko. I don't even know what a Funko is. <laughs> we don't know what a Funk or an O is. We don't know any of this. We don't know that they come in uh, cases, six by four boxes uh, with, with numbers in the top right hand corner. We don't know that they are each themed by a specific thing. We don't know any of that. Okay. We sure as heck don't know that their value increases or decreases based off of rarity and, and flaws and stuff. And we certainly don't know that uh, that Mass Worker uh, Funko Pop Squid Game is number one two two six. We don't we don't know any of that. I, we just... <laughs> no, and I don't know why why a Deadpool would have blonde hair on a Funko Pop. I don't know. It's, we don't, you know. It's, we don't you know. know. We just don't know any of these. You things. know. It's... Because, yeah, because obviously, if 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 uh, the crib doesn't know who Eminem is, we don't know about Funko Pops. That means we don't know about uh, any any rapper's career at all. Nothing. Like we we know nothing. And that that means my whole background is actually a green screen. There is no Funkos behind me. That means that we don't know about Baby Metal every time we do them on Wednesdays. We, that means that we don't know. I, I I have never heard. I have never seen a Japanese person. <laughs> Never in the history of ever has the big sis been a Japanese person. <laughs> Never have I ever. Oh Lord. But but I can't even call. They they try to label at Mercury's being a YouTube rapper, and I'm like, no, Mercury's been doing this thing long before this YouTube shit. I mean, uh, like like Mercury. Yeah, he he popped off. He popped off on YouTube doing the covers. Yeah, you know, doing his version of songs. But he is far from a YouTube rapper. Yes, but you know that he is following essentially the Clive Davis uh, book of how to ju- how to generate views on YouTube. Clive Davis specifically said, if you want to become a music artist and you don't want to sign a major label deal, you got to do three things. You got to cover popular songs with with your own versions. Then you got to after every four songs you drop your own track, right? And then. You host li- uh, live uh, uh, live events to, to, not live events, but live, like, you know, YouTube live, Facebook live, shit like that. That live shit. You do those lives and talk with the fans. Mercury was doing that prior to even Clive Davis even saying shit about it, right? But he's followed the Clive Davis playbook nonetheless. And so maybe Clive Davis, Davis copied the Mercury's playbook. We don't know. But the point is. So, so hold on real quick. Listen to this song here. In my brain, I had another another song in my head, and it was DMX. Oh, give me a sign. You know what I'm saying? I think, if I remember correctly, I think that I think isn't that the isn't this the chorus? But he's doing it in his own way. I'd have to look. It up is the, without the Lord part of it, because remember it was Lord, give me a sign by DMX. Yeah, but is it? But he's saying Lord, give me a sign in this. Let's see. DMX's was. Um, hold on one second. Lord, give me a sign. I, DMX I said, <clears throat> he's, he said, let me know what's on your mind. Let me know what I'm going to find. It's all in time. Show me how to teach the mind. 
Show me how to reach the blind. Lord, give me a sign. Show me how I got to do to bring me closer to you because I'm going to go through whatever you want me to. Just let me know what to do. Lord, give me a sign. So let's go back over. The, oh, I done, I done zoomed in on myself. Hold on. Let's go back over the course. Oh, you're smacking the shit out your camera? Smacking the shit out myself. Too much on my plate. You can see it on my face. There's only so much I can take. Finding no ways to numb the pain. Lord, give me a sign. No, it's I'm different. trying not to break. Maybe there's too okay. much on my plate. You can see it on my face. There's only so much I can take. Finding no ways to numb the pain. Lord, give me a sign. But the premise is the same, though, because... Yeah. But I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Listen. Uh, either way, I, I think this is the kind of... This is what we need. Like, this is... Um, because you can't duplicate DMX's voice. Like, you can't du duplicate no, that kind of energy. No matter how much you try and twist it and flip it. But what you can do... Is present things in the 2023 matter and, and Big Sin, or 2024 matter, and Sin, we're tired. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> ain't no more screaming at me. Ain't no more fucking wilding out. I'm, I'm tired, bro. And like, like, I just. Hey, yo, it. Lord, give me a sign. That's all you getting from me right there. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all you get. Ain't no more screaming. I'm not screaming. We tired of screaming, yelling. Dealing with these bullshit over the last few years, nigga, just give me a sign. I just, I just got I just got off work like an hour and a half ago and shit. You so. know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then you got to turn around and shit, rest, and then you got to still be a dad tomorrow and shit. Fuck, Lord, give me a sign. <laughs> you know, Lord, give me a sign. <sighs> All right, let's keep this thing going. Mercury's dropping a banger. We got to keep this shit moving. Come on, Merc. I'm so concerned with all the judgment, Pat, I miss you, yeah, you heard me, motherfucker, I'm still learning not to numb it, but I'm a person, not a puppet, maybe I'm deserving of the suffering, but it hurts me in my stomach, I can't ignore it anymore, fuck the bottle, had to pour it on the floor, now I gotta go on tour, and it's back to the fake happiness, got success, but no one said what came after it, so give me a sign, you need a favor, huh, get in the line, I'm being honest with what's been on my mind, they think I'm famous, so they think that I'm fine. There's tears running from my cheek to my chin the whole time. I'm fucking fed up, but I'm trying to keep my head up. Voices in my head never let up, so I'm letting them talk. Otherwise, I know they never will stop. I'm saying nothing, and that says a whole lot. I just give them the sign. I'm just trying not to break. Maybe there's too much on my plate. You can see it on my face. There's only so much I can take. Finding no ways to numb the pain. Lord, give me a sign. Cause I'm just trying not to break Maybe there's too much on my plate You can see it on my face There's only so much I can take Finding no ways to numb the pain Lord, give me a sign Damn Oh We're about to go too far Hold on, no, 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 no We gotta go back We gotta go back There we go Oh, um, we moved that first There we go Alright I've, I've always I've always praised Merck when he gets personal and shit, you know what I'm saying? Remember what we just talked about before? I didn't I just mentioned back to state. He didn't even talk about it until after we after we talked about it. Which tells us we on the same wavelength as Merck, he's, like bro. He's still he's <clears throat> and that loss is still affecting him. As it should. Imagine not be like a father, right? Hold on. Not like a father, but a brother, like an older brother that guided you and molded, not necessarily mold, but guided you through the, the trials and tribulations and the pitfalls of the rap game. You know what I'm saying? Somebody from a, from not only a business, uh, took the business perspective of it and made it relatable from a relationship perspective, from a familiar relationship perspective. Um, yeah. I can only imagine... If that were to happen, be like me losing you. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's it's it sucks, and he's got to live with it. And I like it sucks because he's just, at this point where you finally get your success, and you finally people you're finally getting the flowers from the industry like you deserve for so long, and the shit like that happens. That that sucks, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, but. Shout out to Merck for actually acknowledging it and making it, putting it in a perspective that we can all relate it, relate to. That's the beauty 
of what Merck does. Yes, he's from Canada, but man, it feels like he's been rapping in the United States his whole life. And I know people are going to say, well, there's no Not difference. A- you know, we also got to give flowers to Sea Lance because Sea Lance just be doing bangers, though. Sea Lance, listen. I hope Sea Lance is listening to this. Okay. Um, he, yeah, he 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 checks out the channel. <laughs> so so let, let me give my flowers to Sea Lance um, first and foremost, right? And I and I want to give my flowers to him only because I feel like. A lot of people don't in a, in a producer-driven industry right now. Like, and let's cause let's be honest, then the 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 mainstream music mainstream music is producer-driven because all these artists, these mainstream artists, are ass, right? Like, if you're not Drake, if you're not Wayne, if you're not M, you're not fucking the major niggas like Rick Ross, Jay Z, niggas that have been around for forever type shit. But that's why that's why Metro's taken off so bad. Well. Me, me, that's and that's the thing with the whole Metro takeoff with the with the with, with the Metro booming shit with Future and, and yeah because Metro Metro booming's been doing beats for years but he's also done beats for mm-hmm. good niggas as well as sorry niggas right you know what I'm saying and and, and the sorry niggas he's actually improved but with Sea Lance right I feel like like you know a Metro booming track when you hear it. Right, it, it sounds specific, something specific. C. Lance has done East Coast beats. He's done West Coast beats. He's done Dirty South beats. He's done Canada style beats. Uh, he's done he's done uh, some some down South Texas shit. He's done some grimy New York gutter shit. Like there is no limit yeah. to what this man has done. And and I think that I think that C. Lance also did. He did beats for uh, he did like one or two for Grind Mode, if I remember correctly. At least a couple members of Grind Mode. Uh, at the, at the... I think so. And he's also, you know, he's also done Rich. He's done fucking Tech Nine. He's oh, yeah. done, you know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And the, and the Tech Nine shit usually requires some 808s, right? You know. And he's been a- available to say, I'm gonna, I'm going to make this beat about you. So in an industry where I'm making this beat about me and my talents. He said, I'm going to make my beats about the artists that are doing it. And I'm going to adapt myself to to the artists. To the point where you almost don't know it's a Sea Lance beat until somebody tells you it's a Sea Lance beat. And these artists that he C Lance he- does these beat for us are so proud, not because C Lance is working with them, but because C Lance adapted his style, like his beat making to how they do things. And most of the time you hear at the beginning of the song like this one, Sea Lance. Yes. You know, it ain't the fucking it ain't like back in the day when it was hoo 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 ki 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 another one, another one, another one. Burn one, burn one, burn, 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 folks tracks, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Where producers just fucking talking all over the beat and shit. You know <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, and, and that's the beauty of it. Like and so I wanna I wanna definitely give that man his flowers. I hope that a lot more mainstream artists find this man and hand him a hand him a bag, and and he will stay. The but fact it, that Mercury, the fact that C. Lance is Mercury's go-to shows what it is. Yep, shows that you know what I'm saying C. Lance has a special set of skills that the man Money Merc be loving and always putting on. So uh, I mean, I said a particular set of skills. <laughs> I know, I know, C. Lance will like that one. I got you. <laughs> yes, I got you. I feel you on that one. All right, Big Sim. Uh, another banger by Mercules in the books. Oh yeah. So, I guess we gotta let the people know what they can do to join us as we become the reactors of infamy. Well, first and foremost, also go out there and check out C. Lance's Undying Flame album because mm-hmm. this shit is dope as fuck. Featuring yeah. the likes of Merc and Ritz and some other various artists you find on this channel. Yes, please. But um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell so you know more Stimful Black drops. And um, go support Merc. Tell Merc we sent you. Support C Lance. Tell C Lance we sent you. And we'll see you on the next one, people. That's right. So until next time, that's my man, Big Sim. I'm your boy, Hollywood J Black. This 
But this is Simple Black Reacts, and we are out this thing. Yes. <sighs>